Vice Managing Director of Strategic Income at Eagle Asset Management. Um, inversions in the past, James, like everything else, they, they, they've maybe overpredicted uh, recessions, but w the logic of why it happens does make you think that there is a slowdown coming because when the long end uh, is so much uh, lower in yield than, than the short end, it just it looks like long term the Fed is going to be successful in orchestrating a slowdown. Is, is that how we should view it? Yeah, I think yield curves have a pretty good track record of predicting slowdowns and recessions. And as you mentioned, the inversion, uh, three, the three month to 10 year actually started in October. Typically, the average time is about 300 days between the start of the threes to tens in the recession, which would put you somewhere in the, in the, in the third or fourth quarter of this year. Do you think, James, that the, the resiliency that we've seen in the labor market, even in the, the stocks, in the stock market, which some people say uh, isn't listening to Jay Powell, is that good or bad? Doesn't that allow the Fed to, to do its work and maybe thread the needle to a soft landing? Or is it bad that, that the economy stays so strong because it means we're going higher and longer? Yeah, I think the markets have misread Powell all along, and I think yesterday's comments uh, were, were kind of trying to put a, a damper on, on risk assets that started the year kind of on fire back, back in January. At the end of the day, inflation is, is the biggest menace for an economy. As we know, it's regressive. It affects everybody. Powell is going to sacrifice other parts of the mandate, uh, and I would argue a third part of the mandate has been equity prices and risk prices to get inflation back to long-term trend, and that's going to take a heavy lift. And it's, and it's going to have to be higher for considerably longer than I think people were really ready to believe. The, uh, the chance for 50 basis points next time is, is what, in your view? 50-50. And, and, and if he goes, if the committee goes 50, it's going to be a concession that, that the February move was a mistake. So I think it really is going to be a very interesting uh, you know, series of meetings here coming up. Our take on whether the Fed ends up has always been in the 5 and a half to 575 range. And that probably peaks around June, Joe. And, and the reason we say that is we're going to get some pretty easy comps on inflation in the summer months. So the, the headline numbers on inflation are not going to be materially slowing over the next quarter or two. And I think that just keeps the Fed on the brakes for a while. We were thought that we were in a uh, in a period before Friday and before next week with the the inflation data. We didn't have a lot to go on other than what, what we hear about housing. So I, I was optimistic that, that maybe the numbers could start cooling. I was optimistic maybe that whatever Fed Chair Powell is seeing might not indicate what he said yesterday. Do you think he has uh, intermediate data points uh, that he's been getting about inflation? That I was going to wait till next week. Do you think he knows things about those numbers next week? Or do you think he, he has an idea that this this Friday number is going to be pretty uh, pretty sharp, or do you think he's basing everything on on the rearview mirror that he said yesterday? No, I think forward-looking inflation data is going to look like it has some inertia to it. You're quite right on shelter costs; it is coming down. And by the way, I think that's a very good thing. You know, we've crowded out a lot of people, and, and rents around the country are, are pretty prohibitive for most. So, a cooling housing market is always a, a precursor mm -hmm. to uh, to a recession. But having said that, the labor market's tight in wages. Uh, employment cost, all of those things. We're hearing it from companies, right? We're hearing margins compressing. We're hearing higher and higher uh, labor costs coming through in a number of our, our earnings calls. And I think the, the labor market tightness and the wage inertia, if you will, of that is, is, is pretty sticky.